Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use multiple versions of Python on your Windows machine. Now you'll come across this occasionally as a developer when you're working on somebody else's project or on a public repository where the, the project is a requirement to use a different version of Python than what you've currently got, so maybe a newer one or an older one. In which case you need to install a different version of Python on your machine and have the, uh, a method of toggling between the versions on any given project. That's what I'm going to show you in today's tutorial. However, before I jump into it, if this is the first time you visited Decoding, then please subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every time I add a video. And if you'd like to support us, there's a link to my Patreon page and my HBAR wallet in the description below. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now, this opens straight up on python.org forward slash downloads. We looked at this in a previous video, link to which is above, where I showed you how to get started with Python on a Windows machine. We're now going to install a different version. Now I've been tinkering with this so that I've got a couple of installers already downloaded on my machine so it might not look the same when you're following along. But what you want to do is click on downloads and click on the machine that you're working on. I'm on a Windows and that will take you to their Windows URL which got all of the different releases of um, Python. So we'll scroll down and we'll get a random version here. So maybe 3.8. Anything with a web based installer. Click that and then click open whenever that's ready and then that will give you some options here. So uh, we'll customize the install. We don't want to add it to the path. Don't want a documentation. Click next. And what it will do, it will default to this location here or wherever your default location is on your machine. Um, what we need to do is need to browse and I'm going to stick it all in where I've got. My Python is in, if you don't, I don't know if you see that, I went into my computer C drive. Then I've got a Python directory. And then I've got all my different versions, okay? Click on Python, make new folder, and I'll call this Python 3.8.0. And click OK. No. Python, there we go. Click on that one there, and then click Install. Now we'll go ahead and install Python in that directory. We haven't got it in our path, so what we need to do is now we need to add that to our path and then have a way to toggle between all the different versions of Python on our machine. So uh, if I go into a command prompt, uh, what we want to do is have a look at what Python version we've actually got as default currently. Now I've been tinkering with this a little bit for the last 20 minutes, so let's have a look. So version 3.7.3. Uh, that is because when you, uh, Python will look in your env environment variables and it, the first version of vi the Python it finds will be the default. In this case, 3.7 is the first in my environment variables. I actually use 3.9.6 in most of my projects, so I need a way of now moving to 3.9.6. So the way you do that, or the way I do it, there's loads of videos on YouTube showing you different ways of doing this, but this is the way I do it, okay? So search for environment variables. You want to go into system environment variables. It'll come up with this screen. Environment variables, I'll come up with this screen. Then you've got system and you've got variables just for me as a user. Now if I go into system and click on path, click edit, you'll see that 3.7 appears first in my uh, environment variables. 3.9.6 is underneath that. All I do to change this is simply put, click on the environment variable, and move it up twice. Move that up twice. So 3.9.6 appears before 3.7. Click OK, click OK, and click OK. This command prompt probably won't register it because I might need to close it down to pick up those changes. Let's just have a look, shall we? Yeah, it won't. So let me open up a command prompt. And then try Python dash dash version. 3.9.6. If I now put uh, Python to open up a Python shell, it'll open up that Python shell. And again, if I change that environment variable to 3.7.0 or whatever it was, uh, I would need to call Python rather than PY because if you call PY, it will just go on your default. Uh, but always, if you call Python, you can then toggle between the different Python versions on your machine, which is very helpful. So the way you add a new version to your environment variables is quite easy. You search for environment variables, go on a system, click OK. Oh, sorry, no you don't. You go system and you click on environment variables there. Uh, and then scroll down to your path in system, click edit. And then what you do, if you click on this one here and click edit and copy, 
because the only difference between this um, path and the one we're using is the name of the directory. So uh, we'll click new and just look in the directory here. So my machine, Python, and what do we just add? 3.8.0, okay? So we we'll change that to 3.8.0, okay? I don't wanna click, I wanted to click new then, edit. And we now want to have a new one, paste again, and then this one we don't, we just want 3.8.0 with a backslash. We click OK and move those variables up. We should then be able to use 3.8.0. So just move them all the way to the top. And there we have it. Click OK, click OK, click OK on that one. Close down the command prompt, open up a new command prompt. So this change will take effect and hopefully with any luck we're now using 3.8.0 okay uh, if i put py it won't register it yeah 3.9.6 um, but if i quit that and then put python to open up a shell there you go 3.8.0 that's how i do it rightly or wrongly but that's how i use the right python package for the project that i'm working on i hope you found this useful Please leave me a comment and like the video if you have. It's massive, massively helpful. Uh, like I said at the start, subscribe and click the bell so every time I add a video, you're notified. And also, if you want to support this channel so that I can knock out these videos a little bit quicker and of a better quality, then there's a link to my Patreon page and the HBAR wallet in my description below. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.